Hello, I'm Alvaro and in this tutorial we are going to cluster three RabbitMQ servers. The setup I have here is three Raspberry Pi computers all connected together on my local uh, network. So, in this machine I have installed RabbitMQ and what I will do now is to start the server by typing this command RabbitMQ server detached. The same I will do in the other machine and in the third one. To cluster these machines we are going to follow just the documentation that you can find online here at rabbitmq.com slash clustering. So the first step we do is to check that these servers are not clustered just to make sure we are not uh, cheating. Let's see the first one and the second one as well. You can see that they are not clustered with any other RabbitMQ node. And the third one. So this is all good. So let's start to create, to add the first node to the cluster. The first thing we need to do is to stop the RabbitMQ application on the Erlang node. This is happening there and then we reset the app. Now we are going to tell this server to cluster with the first with the first machine as you can see on this step here. So we did the reset already. Now we need to cluster with rabbit at raspberry pi 1. We can see there that it finished and now we need to start the application again. Let's check now the cluster status. And we can see that our server is clustered with the other node. Now let's try to do the same on the other on the star machine. So again the first step we need to do is to stop the application, then we reset, and then we tell it to show to cluster with the first node and the second one. Then again, we need to start the app. And finally, we can see the cluster status. And we are clustered with the other two machines. So now let's open the management API on the first uh, RabbitMQ node, which is called Raspberry Pi 1, and the port is 55672. So there we get the management API and we can see that all the nodes are forming a cluster. The first one is a disk node and the other two are RAM nodes. So to play a, a little bit, let's see what happens if we kill one node, if we stop this machine, for example. Let's do RabbitMQ CTL stop. Now we can see that automatically RabbitMQ detected that the Rabbit at Raspberry Pi 3 is dead, so the node is not running. But let's get the, this RabbitMQ up and running again. Detached. Let's wait till the server boots up. The speed on the Raspberry Pi is not as fast as in a normal computer, but it works. So the server is up and it should be auto discovered by RabbitMQ and the node. Let's wait a little bit till this uh, interface uh, refresh and there we go. We got the node back again. We can see that the uptime is different from the other two machines. So that's all. You can see that clustering a RabbitMQ server is pretty easy as we've shown on, on this small demo. Thanks for watching.